In this chapter, we would like to give a proper look at all the pieces of equipment that we will have in the family. Let's get started with the rack units. In total, you can select between four different variants depending on the needs of the customer. Starting with the EWDEM, single channel half rack. Then we have the EWDX EM2 and EM2 Dante, dual channel half rack. Finally, there is the EWDX EM4 Dante 4 channel full rack. Let's compare these side by side so you can see what they all offer. With the EWD EM, we offer 56 MHz of switching bandwidth compared to 88 MHz with the EWDX EMs. All offer equidistant grid with 600 kHz spacing in standard mode, and with EWDX only, we can switch to link density mode with 300 kHz spacing, which gives you up to 90 channels with EWD and 146 channels with EWDX in standard mode, and more than 220 channels with EWDX in link density mode. Encryption is available with EWDX as well as Dante on the EWDX EM2 Dante and the EWDX EM4 Dante. With the Dante enabled EWDX EM2 and EM4, we are able to configure our network and Dante ports with the standard configurations of single cable mode, split mode, and redundancy mode. All receivers can be remote controlled from the Smart Assist app over Bluetooth low energy at distances up to 25 meters. With the EWDX receivers, we have the added network ports, which allow for expanded remote control using either Wireless Systems Manager or Sennheiser Control Cockpit. For ease of use, we see with the EWDX EM4, we have an internal switching power supply and antenna power and loop through allowing us to daisy chain four EM4s together over a pair of antenna. With the EWDX EM2s, our EWD antenna splitter will not be able to power these receivers as they are normally used. This is because we have a two channel system in each box. Therefore, we have added a unique four-way power supply to ease the cable spaghetti inside the rack. But we also need to mention the very cool addition to the EM2 of Power over Ethernet. Especially for corporate and education settings, this will be a great addition. And finally, on the EWD EM, we see an LED display, whereas with the EWDX, we have the added definition of an OLED display. And another plus with EWDX, you will find a Q meter, just like we see on D6000 with its LQI meter. As a quick reminder, this shows us the quality of the link separate to the RF levels. Moving on to the transmitters, we see our SKM handhelds, the EWD SKM S, the EWD X SKM S, and SKM. We then have our three SK body packs, the EWD SK, the EWDX SK and the EWDX SK 3 pin. New additional transmitters to the Evolution Wireless World in the form of our EWDX table stands with the 3 pin or 5 pin versions. But let's again put them side by side so you can see the features of all of them. Just like our receivers, the EWD SK and SKM S offer 56 MHz of switching bandwidth, whereas the EWDX transmitters offer 88 megahertz. Channel spacing and our equidistant grid follow the same rules. EWD offers 600 kilohertz, whereas EWDX offers this and 300 kilohertz in link density mode. All the EWDX transmitters offer AES-256 encryption, whereas this is not available on the EWD transmitters. EWDX also offers in-device charging through charging contacts built into the SK and SKMs. And for the table stand transmitters, you have the choice of USB or inductive charging, just as you're used to with SLDW. One major difference we see in the SK and SKM transmitters from EWD to EWDX is the introduction of a screen. And for this, we have chosen to use e-link displays for always-on information. And the final feature is the programmable mute switches on the EWDX SKMS and both EWDX SKs, allowing you to choose between AF mute or RF mute. For the EWD SKMS and SK, we only have the option for AF mute using the switch. 
All transmitters are compatible across the range, but do be aware of restrictions of features linked to the families. As an example, switching bandwidth and use of link density mode.